Welcome back to World Science. Hello everyone and welcome back to World Science. Today we'll be delving into an exciting breakthrough in the ongoing fight against HIV. The potential use of CRISPR-Cas gene editing technology to eradicate the virus from infected cells. For decades, HIV AIDS has been a global health challenge, affecting millions of people worldwide. Conventional treatments such as antiretroviral therapy have significantly improved the prognosis for individuals living with HIV. However, the search for a definitive cure has been ongoing. In recent years, scientists have been exploring the potential use of CRISPR-Cas9, a revolutionary gene editing tool for various medical applications, including the treatment of genetic disorders and infectious diseases. One particularly groundbreaking development in this field comes from the biotechnology company Excision Biotherapeutics. The company has been at the forefront of research into using CRISPR-Cas gene editing to combat HIV. In a landmark study, Excision Biotherapeutics administered a gene editing drug known as EBT-101 to three individuals living with HIV. The primary objective of the study was to assess the safety and efficacy of this innovative approach, with the ultimate goal of potentially eradicating the virus from the participants' bodies. The preliminary results of the study have yielded promising findings. Notably, the participants who received EBT-101 did not experience any serious adverse effects. The therapy demonstrated a positive safety profile with no evidence of vector shedding in sexual organ tissue, indicating a favorable safety profile. Additionally, the therapy was detectable in the participants' blood four weeks after receiving a single intravenous infusion, supporting its safety and biodistribution. These initial results have laid the foundation for further exploration and development of this cutting-edge treatment approach. Looking ahead, Excision Biotherapeutics has ambitious plans to build upon the initial success of the study. The company intends to escalate the dosage of EBT-101 in the next phase of the research, with more data expected to be presented in 2024. The participants will be closely monitored for 48 weeks after receiving the gene editing therapy. Furthermore, there are plans for an analytical treatment interruption, during which participants who are eligible will undergo an assessment for sustained viral suppression after discontinuing antiretroviral medications. This phase of the study is crucial in evaluating the long-term effectiveness and potential impact of the gene editing treatment. While the preliminary results of the study are indeed promising, experts caution that this may just be the initial step in a more extensive journey toward finding a definitive cure for HIV. They emphasize the need for further data and analysis to fully comprehend the treatment's effects and potential long-term implications. The scientific community recognizes the significance of these developments while also acknowledging the complexities involved in translating these early successes into widely applicable treatments. In parallel with the study conducted by Excision Biotherapeutics, other research groups have been exploring the potential of CRISPR-Cas gene editing in the context of HIV eradication. Recent research from the Netherlands demonstrated that CRISPR-Cas gene editing technology can effectively eliminate all traces of the HIV virus from infected cells in laboratory settings. This research showcased an efficient combinatorial CRISPR attack on the HIV virus, specifically targeting hidden HIV reservoir cells. This development has raised hopes for a potential cure for HIV, further underlining the immense potential of CRISPR-Cas gene editing technology in combating infectious diseases. While these studies provide hope for the eradication of HIV, it's essential to acknowledge the limitations and challenges associated with the CRISPR-Cas9 technology before making definitive claims about eradicating HIV from infected cells. Further research and development are necessary to address these challenges, 
and refine the potential applications of this innovative technology in the context of HIV treatment. In conclusion, the use of CRISPR-Cas gene editing technology for HIV eradication represents a significant advancement in the field of HIV research. The ongoing studies, including those conducted by Excision Biotherapeutics and other research groups, hold great promise for the development of innovative treatments for HIV-1 AIDS. As we continue to navigate the complexities of this groundbreaking research, it's crucial to maintain a balanced and informed perspective, recognizing both the potential and the challenges associated with these pioneering approaches. Thank you for joining us today, and stay tuned for further updates on this dynamic and evolving area of medical research. If you found this information as exciting as we did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest videos from World Science. We'll see you in the next one.